Sonic Frontiers has been out for about a week now, and speedrunners have made short work of destroying the game. We found awesome movement tech, skips, and sequence breaks. Today, I'm going to get into one of the biggest discoveries found in the first few days. A huge sequence break in Sonic Frontiers any percent. There are many strats that have been found since speedrunners got their hands on Frontiers that make general gameplay much faster, but none of these compare to what I'm about to show you. This strat was discovered by the one and only DSS on day one of Frontiers release. While there isn't an official name, DSS Shuffle and Hedgehog Space Program are being used currently. Choose your favorite, but in this video, I'll be using the DSS Shuffle. I'll cover the mechanics of DSS Shuffle later in the video, but if you're only here for the tutorial, the timestamp is on screen now. The main uses that speedrunners have been testing so far with the DSS Shuffle are island skips. Finding a way to avoid progressing the story and having to collect a large amount of memory tokens in Chaos Emeralds would cut the runtime of the speedrun substantially. So when discovering the DSS Shuffle, runners realized they could make it over to where the boss of Kronos Island resides without the story progression. However, another problem immediately presented itself. Although the boss looked like it was there, it wasn't loaded in to actually fight, and after looking for the trigger and not being able to activate the boss, DSS shared their findings and moved on. Vorgan, from the Frontiers Discord, was actually able to find a trigger and activated the boss in the hours after. The question then, was Sonic able to go super even if he hadn't collected any emeralds on his journey to the boss? The answer was yes. Collecting the final Chaos Emerald from the Titan's head automatically triggers the rest of the boss fight. Kronos Island was now completable basically right after the tutorial. The DSS Shuffle is a somewhat precise trick, but with a little bit of practice, it's relatively consistent. The strat is done by combining a dodge roll, stomp attack, and a boost together. In Sonic Frontiers, the air boost does some interesting things. At first, the boost will maintain and even extend the speed that you have currently. When Sonic does the stomp attack, he gets a massive amount of upward momentum to be in the correct placement for the move. When you air boost during this massive speed increase, you're able to cancel the part where Sonic slows down and stomps, while keeping the initial boost in speed. So to do the trick, you walk onto an enemy you can stomp attack onto. Then the inputs go like this. Dodge roll. After a small delay, press the stomp input, and immediately afterwards, follow up with the boost. The frame window between the stomp and the boost can be a bit punishing, but keep at it and you'll get it to work eventually. Now before I get into common pitfalls, there are a few things to know to maximize your height to ensure that the skip goes well. When you boost, do not hold the boost button. You want to just tap the boost button, otherwise you will actually lose speed much faster, as counterintuitive as it is. The other big thing here is to let the stick rest in the neutral position after you boost. This will help Sonic keep the upwards momentum for longer, and if you're next to the out of bounds barrier, you won't accidentally hit that since you'll be going straight up. And trust me, you need a lot of height. The DSS shuffle was used to find the Kronos Island skip. Now let's go over how the specifics of that work. Perform a DSS shuffle up either of these groups of enemies. The higher up enemies give you a little bit of extra height, but it does take a bit longer to get there. Then perform the trick. If you get a good amount of height, you'll be able to make it over the barrier that would normally stop you from going out of bounds. Now past this barrier is where you want to be careful. You want to navigate over to this valley off in the distance, which is the boss arena. You want to make sure not to stomp until you're comfortably into the arena, otherwise you can be stuck out of bounds and have to do everything all over again. Now that you're in the arena, you want to find the trigger to get the boss to spawn in to start the fight. For reference, you want to find this part of the arena as a starting point. Remember this path and head towards the area. Now you want to use this spot on the ground as a visual cue. Run through this a few times and the boss will spawn. It will be easy to tell that the boss is ready to fight, as the music will change, and you can continue as normal from here. As I mentioned before, there's also a skip for the second island in the game. Ares Island Skip's origins actually predates the Kronos Island Skip. Speedrunner Clove found that you can skip this puzzle that is supposed to unlock the final boss area by literally climbing over it. <sighs> After how difficult they made it to skip Kronos Island, this one felt really like a joke. Clove also then quickly found the trigger for the boss to start running around in this area. Now, the only difference here is that you actually need to activate the boss flying around in Ares Island first. You can ensure this happens by freeing Knuckles from the Red Prison and collecting one Chaos Emerald. The chase scene will ensue, and now you're free to continue. While you can still use the method Quove found, 
Runners at first started using the DSS shuffle to avoid traversing to the area where the puzzle is. However, they've found an easier and faster way to go about this. If you run just past the 2-1 cyberspace stage, you'll find this area. If you jump off the slope or this rock, you can jump and homing attack the spring. Once you've hit the spring, try to get a double jump and land on this ledge here. After getting here, you have one more ledge to climb up. A double jump and a boost should do it. Now you run around the rocky wall and you're in the boss arena. To trigger the boss to spawn, we'll aim just past this big satellite dish here on the left. To spawn the boss, you can go around this area. I like to find this plant in particular and run through it. Once again, you'll know you did it properly when the music changes. While these skips are massive, they're far from the only things the community has found already. I'm going to be covering these finds and more in Sonic Frontier speedrunning, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thanks for watching.